Okay, good morning guys. I'm uh, out in the Everglades, my first time. I got my buddy Brennan behind me. Weather does not look great this upcoming week with today being the best day of weather. Top water, small plastics, feeling it all out, whatever bites. First time fishing this area, excited as hell. I know it can be magical. So let's see what we can catch. That's a nice trap. Nice. That's nice. Nice Everglades trap. It's pretty cool. What should we throw? I'm leaning towards a shrimp profile. Something like that. Well, the bad shrimp. Bad fish shrimp, I call it. Everglades trout, man. That seems to be. Is that a trout? It is. It's actually a nice one. Not a bad trout, actually. Trout, trout are pretty aggressive. He ate the bad fish shrimp as well. Trout fishing's not bad here, apparently. Ooh, there's a nice one. This bank right here has got like a nice little deep cut. I'm sure there's fish scattered all over it. Oh, on the retrieve. What do I got there? Oh, he's on crack. <laughs> you, you were really uh, fired up there, huh? It's a keeper mangrove. Hit it on a lightning fast retrieve. Also on the bad fish shrimp. Good spot to float a shrimp here though, on a cork or something like that. Nice fish there. What is that? Speck. Yeah, it's not a bad one. It's 17, yeah. It's been about most of them around that 17 inch mark. They yeah, must have a tough life here in the Everglades. Can't imagine them surviving dolphins and sharks very often here. But maybe they can. I did some dumb stuff today. I did a giant circle, um, just scouting it out. But yeah, I did a big circle. Uh, I thought the wind turned south already. It didn't, because I confused south with north. So I got my, my bearings. But now we're uh, cruising around. Uh, trying. It seems like most fish are just concentrating on points of current. That kind of came together rather quickly. That fish a little spot with current, you'll probably find a couple of fish. Tides here, today we have like a, a, a normal incoming, a weak outgoing, and then a strong incoming. And then we have a, a front coming. So it's today's like all sorts of wild, so. A lot of trout here. Man, these are some nicer ones too. thick here though a lot of trout here though tarpon right here right here right here right here right here he rolled right on my bow went on a wild goose chase just now uh area saw a couple of tarpon of size get out of the wind a little better uh see if we can pluck, pluck some fish out of the mangroves that's the move I'll try a chatterbait something real noisy i think they're gonna hate
Got one. Oh, I think I got one. Chatterbait fish. Big speck. Big one. Nah, big speckled trout. All right, so we're just throwing this chatterbait up into this current here. And there's marks everywhere here. I really didn't think too much about them earlier, but now I'm starting to think we've got a mix of speckled trout, probably Goliath groupers, tarpon, who knows? There's a hard bottom all through here, so. Got him. That's one. Oh gosh, we got one guys. That is a Goliath grouper, it is. That was cool, man. Oh yeah. He was like right where those speckled trout were, man. That is a cool fish. Oh my gosh. That is so cool. How awesome is that? Ate a chatterbait. Just vertical jigging. Oh, that's so cool. It's probably like 25, 26 inches. Peace. That was so cool. I don't know. When I set the hook, it didn't feel like it's heavy. It's Maybe it was a trap. I wonder if it was just like a really nice trap. I can't believe he got off. Oh, I think that was a trap. Never mind. No way, that's a trap. Oh gosh. Oh god. He got me. He owned me. He just, he right yeah, he absolutely cried. Oh, I got him out. Damn, dude, this is awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. Catterbait Goliath grouper. How crazy is that? This is like largemouth bass fishing on steroids right here, guys. That's how I would describe this. <laughs> I got some, some big largemouths up in this channel and I'm throwing chatterbaits for them. Angry presentation to piss them off a little bit. This is some of the most fun experiences I've ever, it's one of the most fun experiences I've ever had. All right. Oh, oh, are you on? Yeah. Up again. I think we figured out something kind of fun. Another chatterbait grouper. Oof. On the way home, I found this. See, look at all those marks down there. I guess anywhere where there's some bumpy bottom, you can find a grouper. That's awesome. That's a nice one. Nicer one. I think he might be. Man, he just now he just thought he was. Oh, see ya. <laughs> Chatterbait hook no more. Yep. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was absurd. So you know what I'm saying? That means probably. Let's see what that is. Is that a trap? Might be. No, if, if, it's not, if it's a trout, it's a nice one. That's no trout. That's G money, right? That's G money, friends. Yeah. 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 A little one. That's a cute one. G money. Eating a swim bait. Pink. Is that what you were getting the other ones on? No, I was using the white chatter bait. Ooh, that's a something. Man. Nice trap. Yeah, that is a nice trap. Looks a thousand. 
I'm... Oh, you actually missed the Goliath, you think? Yeah. Tr trout fishing here is phenomenal, guys. I didn't really realize that. I'm sure that's a time of the year thing. But man, there's a lot of nice trout this size here. 19, I'm sure there's like some 23s and 24s if we really work it. We're kind of just doing this multi-species thing, so whatever bites. But yeah, we're just through piles of trout. That's great. All right, we got some serious weather coming now. That was a pretty uh, pretty good day. Um, day one, figured learned a lot. The stories, you know, morals are fish everything, right? Um, there is good bottom in these creeks. And um, I didn't really think about that. Um, but I guess you could just, you know, push into a, a creek and, you know, if you see like structure on the bottom, jig it. Like our, both of our biggest trouts that were like over 20 inches came on that. And all the Goliath groupers did too. Um, so that leads me to believe like, you know, if you see life, you know, fishing electronics or fishing the bank, either one seems to work. So that's my first day out here in uh, the Everglades. That was a lot of fun. Got, you know, the only thing I'm like not looking forward to is we're gonna have a lot of weather. Um, I spent seven days in another part of Florida and I got skunked bad. Like that was the worst skunking I've ever gotten where I was fishing before this. So refreshing to have a day one like that I was happy with and learned enough about. Um, so yeah, I'll have links in the video's description, everything we used. Those Goliaths seem to have gotten agitated pretty good with the chatterbaits. You know, figure like a noisy profile would, you know, draw them in that they'll smash it. Um, the fourth one bet the hook out on it. Couple tarp incited, no good um, shot at them. So had a good time either way. So let's see what day two does. Um, the weather doesn't look great tomorrow, but um, I think if I can get out of the wind and jig around and do, you know, might be able to have a good day doing that too. So, and I'll catch up with you guys real soon. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I had a blast with that.